guys, it's BSA Risk Guard Huntsman. This is a 1v1 on Grassy Flats. I know, I know, I haven't done, I have not done a 1v1 in so, so long. So, I thought it uh, had to be done. Make a bit of a change. <coughs> um, I'd like to talk a bit about my uh, opponent. Is uh, Esp Espadas Nicola? Or Nikolai? Or I think it says Nicola. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I've not really been used to, like, the build and that that people use for 1v1s and that. And I really wasn't expecting this. I mean, he's got no light infantry. Uh, one, two, six chasse cheval. Um, what is that? Yeah, six chasse cheval. Three old guard here. And a Swiss. Another Swiss. Another Swiss. Another Swiss. Polish Legion. And I think that's two young guard. Mine is pretty much a normal sort of uh, Prussian build. Your five lights. Uh, I've got three uh, foot guards, standard general, four lancers, and I'm pretty sure I had four lancers. Three lancers and one life hussar is what I've got actually, uh, and a bunch of line. Right, so his sort of tactic was like stacking all his old guard down here on one flank and then sweeping around with his cavalry, probably like trying to get behind me, uh, slow me down. But with these three old guard over on this flank, I know I needed to avoid that flank like the plague. So as this was his weaker flank, I chose uh, to move over here and attack this area instead. So he's moved up here, he knows what he's doing. He's moved up here to uh, seemingly looks like he's trying to take the tree line, but he moved a bit too far forward. But I think he soon moves back. I'll do a little charge over here just to fucking see if I'll catch him out of his general. I knew it was a long shot, it weren't going to happen really. So I'll, put, I'll sweep them back pretty quick. I don't want to lose them. Right, I'm going to have to do a bit of unit repositioning at the moment because I've got flight free these units are going to join these units as well to sweep down on the flank and I just haven't got enough manpower here to stop all of this I mean not even the three guard alone without all the other the other um, units that are coming around so got a bit of unit uh, putting a bit more support here couple of light infantry. Right, and what I know I need to do in order before this these guys break these guys or this area here, I need to break these guys. Or at least most of them anyway. Get at least two or three of them routed. Preferably both of the young guard. Be a good start. <coughs> Right, seeing that uh, he keeps swinging this cavalry round, like almost to get behind me, I decide to move one cavalry unit out here and then hold another one here. So he's got a, he's all he's, uh, all times he's got to think about both. I mean, at the end of the day, I can't go attacking this flank. I mean, his cavalry is better than mine. Uh, he's got three old guard. My guys are gonna route pretty pretty quickly, and I don't. I didn't really want to keep my general over this area uh, at this stage anyway, but I did kind of get forced to, but you'll see that in a bit. So this, I'm just trying to hold these guys off and cause some casualties, that's all I'm trying to do with these guys. I think I decided to go with a bit of a, a bit more of a preemptive strike against these um, Chasse uh, Cheval. Keep trying to push up against these guys, but they're not fucking having it. And he's got he's uh, he's in the woods there as well, which is a bit of a bugger. Reduced fire and all that. <sighs> all right, so I'm still just trying to pick away, move my light infantry forward. And that. 
Alright, so he's basically just trying to break me and close me in and corner me, back me into a corner. I mean, I just know, I just didn't have the manpower here to be able to hold all this off. Alright, so that cavalry basically just got wasted, but I sent that in to give me time to deal with this cavalry unit here. Um, I got a pretty good charge in on these guys, but my guys are going to break pretty soon. My poor lancers. But these guys done a bit better. So I'm going to get a charge in on these guys and route these ones. But I don't think I'm going to get enough uh, to be able to charge these guys as well and route them. So, But at least I got rid of one of their French, bloody French cab. Well, I've got two, rid of two now, more or less. It's the cavalry which is really going to cause me the big issue here. So... But me, I was a bit fucking slow on getting my general the hell out of there. So he spots this, and it's really good, really good spot from here from him. So it just like gets power. I think he target fired my my general, as you can see. So the other cavalry unit's now going to probably not, shouldn't last too long. This one causes me a little bit of trouble though. And he also now kills my general as well, which was not really like a, just about the worst thing possible thing that could have happened to me. I didn't even see the sense in moving my general because I knew I would be able to outrun him. But yeah, with my general getting killed and stuff, with three old guard closing down on this flank. I mean, it's a good thing I had foot guards down here. It's the only thing that's really sort of saved my men from uh, breaking, really. This cavalry sticks in my lines for ages. It sticks in my lines for God knows how long. Can't get rid of it. I have to keep running with them, attacking my men. I mean, they're, I mean, it just shows how good these Prussian foot guards are. They stand up to that. Right, so seeing right what's going on over here, if I just allowed that to continue, I would just get crushed. And I'd just get closed up, and all my men would be gone. So I needed to act fast on this flank. So I sent, I wasted two my last two cavalry units, sent them into this flank, hit his young guard, force him into square, and then I'm pushing up and I'm shooting his squares. So they're having a right good shoot out here. I mean, if it was here, if I was him, I would have reacted a lot quicker to this with my cavalry and sent that cavalry back at me. But I guess he tried to... He might have been waiting for my men to go below um, the amount needed to form square. <coughs> <coughs> oh, bloody hell, sorry about that. Right, so my plan here is just fucking run. Run away from that old guard as quick as you can. See that cavalry unit? Still in my line, still going. Right, so I've routed one young guard, which is good for me. Um, I think he must have made a mistake here because his, uh, his units are walking and they're not charging, you know, they're not running. But he will route that unit. But my foot guard's still going strong. So with those guys gone, these guys are young card. We've got more than enough to be able to uh, man and manpower in here to be able to take care of this young guard as well. Over here, just going to set up, and keep running, and keep running, and keep running. See, because like what I needed to do here, because I was getting, cl I was boxed in, and he was just closing the box around me. You see, so my only. The only way for me to be able to deal with that and get away from this old guard and stop myself getting just destroyed was to punch a hole through here, which is what I'm doing by getting rid of these two young guard. And now his cavalry unit's gone as well. I can f start pulling men. I will actually change that, these men, to be coming up here. Right, these guys can stand and fire and, and shoot these guys. And, these guys, and all these two units, these two Swiss units to go, it's just going to continue to take fire from all of my men here. His old guard's still stuck back over here. They're very tired. 
Um, and that's the other th advantage I needed to, to get for myself because by running them, uh, he has to close that box pretty quickly, especially now I've punched a hole through here. So he needs to get these guards over pretty quick, which is going to tire them out. I'm tired, old guard. I need it uh, with my general gun. I need every single bit, of, uh, like a little bit of advantage I can get. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm still standing these guys in just to fire, uh, fire away here, allowing for these guys to come up the back of my line and get out, and then I can spread out my line properly over up here, around here, and then turn around and face uh, what's left of his units. I mean that cavalry unit. It's the last of his cavalry unit now. Cavalry, I mean. So I get these guys out of square as quick as I can and leg it. Because he has still got three old guard and they're still very healthy even though they're exhausted. Oh, I'll just fast forward it a bit. This unit's taken a lot, a lot of losses just then. It had over 100 men. I think it had over 100 men, yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Or at least 90. Right, so I'm lining up to face against all these guys. Set these ones back a bit. Charges in his general. Nearly routes my light infantry, but causes himself uh, damage to his general at the same time. I target fire his general now with this light infantry unit, which gives now, with especially with that old guard, his uh, general's routed, kind of evening up the odds a little bit. I mean, concerned, I <laughs> yeah, frightening enemy unit. Right, but now I have more guns, so I guess my tactic work uh, pulled off. Uh, managed to pull my tactic off in the end. Well, I just go for the weaker flank. That's the only thing I can really say. I mean, like you got just put all my strength, my most of my man, my power over to one side, and uh, my foot guards managed to hold the fort long enough to uh, keep these guys interested while I moved up and uh, attacked the other end but I mean if I it was there was a definitely I mean all, you can see for yourself there was definitely a point in that battle where he w he really could he could have crushed me and humiliatingly defeated me but um, I mean I didn't have really have much options but to punch out that those two young guards and uh, punch a hole through his line so I could, so I could escape break out of the box otherwise I was I really was done for but uh, yeah it was an interesting tactic by my opponent I quite uh, I haven't I mean I don't really play flats much these days so this might be a common thing I don't know but um, it w I thought it was a really it was quite a, a pretty good tactic but um, so anyway I'd like to say good game to uh, Espadas uh, Nicolai or Nicola whichever one and um, yeah it was a really good game mate uh, well played and um, uh, hopefully I'll get to play you again sometime uh, play you again sometime but uh, right just coming to the end of the battle now he's gonna turn around and melee charge me Right, so good game. Thank you very much. Uh, cheers for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you again next time, guys.